now live. Let me just get in our comment post. Hello, Bella. How are you, honey? And got that happening. Oh, why are you not happening? Whoa, everyone's getting on too fast. I can't pin my comment. There we go. All right. And people on Facebook will be going, where are they? Where are they? Got another special guest, people. Another special guest. Hello, Sue, 72 Courts. How are you, gorgeous? And Beverly as well. Another another uh, stand in for Mick. So hello, Nancy. We were just talking about you, beautiful. Tim and his birthday. Um, <laughs> this guy doesn't drink as much as me. Just kidding. Go on, reveal yourself. Nah, that's me, I'm back. He made it back to me, yay! We got rained out, oh no, we got it done. We had to push a bit hard and we got it done and I'm home early, so. Oh. The girls have only just got back. We do have a special guest, but we'll introduce we do. the very short. We have a very special guest. Um, yeah, the girls, you guys only got back an hour ago. Yeah. Pretty much around seven o'clock, long drive, plenty of uh, kangaroosies and... I got home very late last night and spent most of today getting clean and having a sleep. And missing me. And I did a little bit of Netflix. And missing me. And missing Joanne. Yeah. Good job. Nice to have so you yes, back though. It is nice to be back. It's We've nice had 25 back mil of rain, peeps. It's crazy. Tara, how fun. are you? Hello, Trace. John. Yeah, John saying, Mick's back. Yes, he is. Absolutely. How's the lighting? Hey, Murph. How's the lighting now that I'm back, John? Is it all right? Speaking of which, Johnny, can you flick that switch just behind there? Oh, yeah. <coughs> there we go. All better. I don't think John likes oh, the lighting. Oh, Ariel is here. Good to see you, honey. Um, you nice talking know who to you this afternoon. Is, then. You might. Heather, hello, hon. How are you? Mm. Ezzy, Ned. Everyone's joining in, which is hey, awesome. Hey, So, we did eight minute risotto on Monday. And so today we're going to do eight minute, two minute noodles because you can't do noodles properly in two so minutes. Jodie Ann's been away. I've been away since, when did I leave? Saturday. Anyway, so I've been away. Yep. So Jodie Ann yep. throws it on me. Oh, why don't you do your eight minute, two minute noodles? Because she loves them. Yep. And I said, really? We're going to cook two minute noodles for these guys. You guys are going to love it. I promise So we're you. going to cook your two minute noodles. So Eight minutes, this is like normal for us. We're going to give you a baseline. You're going to wash the baseline out of it and you can do what you like with it. And I'll give you a couple of really fun hints that I do with it. But um, I've just literally rambled through the fridge and found a capsicum. Um, the girls brought back, out of, I'm guessing this would be out of your mum's garden, is it? No, they're no. actually out of our, gizzard, our, our, out our visitors. visitors' fridge. So we've got some nice green snap peas there. Shh. Sure snaps, but Anyone who's uh, seen us, we've got our little, what are they called again? Um, Bishop's, Bishop's hats. hats. That we've cooked with before, we've stuffed these before. Out of Mum's garden. That was one of the cooks we forgot about. Marg, I don't know if she's here yet. We always keep a few dried shallots in the cupboard. As everyone should. There's some mushrooms here, I'm not sure about that one yet. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit soft. Hello, Ray. Um, this is because they have And good old really two minute here. noodles. So... Raymond, we just found out about this. Raymond's saying, is this because they're having a 15 minute noodle challenge on an opposition cooking show? So tonight, we literally found this out about four minutes ago that Master Chef is doing two minute noodles or something. So, so it's an absolute coincidence. Absolute 100% so coincidence. So no pressure on me at all. <laughs> so unbelievable. Lisa, how are you going? They'll probably get an hour and a half to make this. Yep. Hey, Michelle, sorry we couldn't catch up today. Lorena, Smiley, finally. Good to see you. Ezzy on Insta as well. And, oh my goodness, Jade's here too. Congratulations, Jade's a grandma. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Oh, a little, uh, little, little boy. I heard it was a big A little huge boy. Uh, nine pound eight. Yeah. Baby congratulations. Boy. Name, so please. So that's my cousin. Uh, his name is Remy Blue. Remy Blue. Hemi, Hemi. Hemi. Hemi Blue. Hello, Rosa. Uh, I reckon I know where the blue comes from. Yes, yeah, from nice. my grandpa, yeah. which is really lovely. Martine, hello, gorgeous. Heath, you're the legend. How are you, Ledge? Um, Raymond reckons it's a winner that we're doing two-minute, 
eight minute noodles. Yeah, so um, I actually have no idea what they're doing on the show. Jodie Ann bung this on me. Haven't been able to watch it for about a week and a half, so. so it is a pure coincidence. Yep. So let me know how we go, guys. Um, biggest problem with two minute noodles, I've never cooked them for two minutes. Anyone who's cooked them for two, no two minutes knows that they. I cook them for two minutes, crap. so I don't cook them anymore. So. Because Mick smashes it. We love the nasty, nasty guring ones. Yes, because they've got a bit of flavour. And so I'm sous chef. I'm literally, Mick's going to tell me what he needs from me and... No, that's not going to happen. Right. Everyone knows that's not going to happen. Hey, that's the intention. Do you need me to open these for you, love? Yeah, a little bit weak. <laughs> Break them up a little bit. Oh, really? Just a little bit. Do you do that before you open it? I'm going to do that. Annoying. I know there's going to be the packet in here. Oh, yeah. Roger, speaking of Roger, we got no jewels so far today. Right. So there's plenty of flavouring and seasoning in these ones, which is good. And yeah. if you don't like hot with your seasoning, you can decide whether you want that the chilli and so forth in there. Pair of scissors. Soft plastic recycles, guys. Don't forget. This one even has um, some basically dried shallots in there, but. We will do two different types. So one goes in with it now. I don't need your cup anymore. We can do the Mick Twins cooking. It looked so funny on Monday, didn't it, guys? I had the best time. Miss Mick, but. Had a great old time on Monday. I did watch it back on Tuesday. It was pretty funny. Just trying to think, what night was that? It Monday. Was Monday. I don't know how late I worked. Uh, about midnight. From memory. That was, might have been your 18 hour day. It's crazy. So we'll get these um, noodles on and in the microwave, because he does do it in the microwave, and then we'll introduce Kylie. Love two minute noodles. Um, hello, beautiful girl. Get those in the microwave, and then we'll introduce who our um, special guest is. Oh, and we... Courtney, oh damn you guys, you tricked us. <laughs> How much are we allowed to say about our special guest? Well, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Colette's joined us, which is amazing. Thank you. Um, like my hair, thank you. Um, oh, it's too late, papers. too, isn't it? Prudence in bed, I'm assuming. Does our guest Call like it. hot? Jade, yay, from Perth. How are you, honey? Hope you're feeling good today. Hey, cuties. Give Jade a big wave. Which Jade? W-A, Jade. We let you say Jade or... Hey, gorgeous family. Yep. We were lucky enough to. Um, Love the pink we've hair. met some of our fans in other states, and it's amazing. It's so cool. Um, Has our little girl kept the pink hair? Looks awesome. Yes, Indy, little Indy. How old's Indy? I think she's eight or nine. She's gone pink. Yeah, so cute, and she's gorgeous. She's pinker than you. Yeah, she's yeah, she's killing it. All right, so we've got sauces in there. If you're watching, hello, gorgeous Indy. All right, what do you need me to do? Cut some stuff up. Okay. Um, we want to get a little bit of frying happening on our capsicum and stuff, get some flavour into it. Okay. All Cut right. up some spring onion. I always reckon, where's our tea towels gone? Right edge. Spring onion's always good to do two ways. So I reckon you have a bit of spring onion that goes in the pan and gets fried up a bit, put a bit aside to sprinkle over the top so you've got some like to mix in the last minute. So if you could do that. Sounds good. Yep. Can I do that? Yeah, I just first? went out and raided those out of the garden. These, remember I was raving the other week, they're purple. I love them. They're purple spring onions. So anything that's a bit heirloom I'm a big fan of these days. Now we always also boil the kettle first. So put boiling oh, hot water. It saves you a bit of the time. Speeds things up. Gonna go super fine on these. Um, so what's news, everybody out there? We've had 25 mil of rain. That's probably our biggest news. I've been down in Melbourne having a very good time meeting with some very important people, um, which I'll fill you out in the weeks to come, how that has resulted. But at this stage, looking amazing. And I think you guys know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, what I'm talking about, which will be, obviously, we've been doing some stuff for the show. Um... And yeah, how many of these do you want? The whole lot? Or just... That's probably enough. Sure. Yeah. And you want these as well. Heaps of spring onion in there. 
It's a shame we didn't have any. So with the two minute noodles, I give them a minute first with the water. That'll um, get that water hot, get the noodles to reduce, and then give them, push them down into the water so that we know that they're well covered. And we want plenty of moisture because we're actually going to separate. Because the good thing about two minute noodles is a lot of people like to cook them until there's next to no moisture left. We're going to leave some moisture in there because it's a reduced sauce that we're going to use later. That's why we've got a fry pan here to have some fun. Are you happy with that for your um, snow peas? I reckon that'll look yeah. the bank. Janine, you'll be able to tell me what are these that I should have said. They'll look the. I don't know. I don't know what are these like mini battens or something. I suppose baby battens, mini matchsticks. So baby battens. Baby battens. Why does it have to have an accent? I do, and I sing shit, don't you I? You sound like the guy off Austin Powers. Oh yeah. Baby, baby, baby. Get in my belly. Is that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spew and Rhett's not watching because he'd have a laugh over that. Get in my belly. He's funny. Maybe I'm trying to do my best column. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't Adrian Richardson hasn't dropped in and I'm very, very sad about that. We might be busy. Well, you know. We're all busy. Take a bit of a look about it. So I'll just give you a look because look, when it comes to water, don't be scared of putting a heap of water in them. Because you'll see why. And the fact that they're going to be cooking for around about eight minutes, that is going to reduce. Gives it more time to get flavour into your noodles and more flavour into your sauce. So, as we were saying, we can't teach them how to do eight minute, two minute noodles. But how many people have already said, yay, two minute noodles? It's bloody, who didn't have this staple it, yeah. growing up? I can't believe that a major network is going to show everyone how to cook two minute noodles. And we're doing it on the same night! That is so... <laughs> <laughs> it's just too bloody random. But there's probably a ramen noodle challenge at ours. They've got an hour I mean, and a half. They'll have an hour and a half and they'll have a pantry to go on. No, it's the, um, Raymond said it was a 15 minute challenge. Mm. Oh, and really? 15. And. Ooh, we, might be able, we might be in the challenge. We're in. <laughs> We're in. So we'll wait for your votes. They won't be having a beer while they're cooking theirs. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Um, is that enough? Yeah. You want me to do some um, capsicum? Hey, why don't you read some notes while I do some... I'm busy oh. cooking. Oh. Because I'll keep cutting this up for you. <clears throat> and otherwise I get stuck over there and then I get you know, distracted. All right, who we got? What are we frying under the fry under the griller? Um, one night and someone was like, don't forget the griller! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh no! So this is probably a really good recipe if you've got stuff that's starting to get a little bit in the fridge, uh, because this... Um, They're uh, all just having a chat amongst themselves. That's what they do, that. I love that, though. Uh, this capsicum's starting to get a little bit wrinkly. Um, I'm using the side that's not wrinkly. So, Smiley's wondering why I was holding up a mask. Well, Because we were pretending that he wasn't here. Jodie Ann had a special guest last week. and um, Monday, Monday. Oh, sorry, Monday. Felt like last week to me because I've done yeah. about 60 hours since then. Hang in there, peeps, because we've got a very special guest here tonight too. You good? <laughs> um, oh, no. So Jodie has been down to Melbourne to pick up our special guest. And some other stuff. Catch oh, and on. do some other stuff too, yeah. A bit of running around. Kylie's still Just talking down there. Geez, I tell you, it's nice down there, guys, with hardly any traffic, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Holy moly. Trip. Still Trip. talking about. Well, you, yours doesn't naturally roll down. No, you've got to move it. Once you've moved it upwards, you've got to move it back again. All right. Yeah. That's so you've decided you didn't want mushroom. Did yeah. You? So Rose is all over it. Yeah, they can pick whatever they like. I've just had to go through the fridge tonight and right. see. But. Happy about you. Day oh. Like, oh. Put it in Sandy's watching. Five minutes in there at the minute, and then we'll do a check. So, um, well, you put that in the microwave for eight minutes instead of two. How come the eight? Explain that before. Um, so, I go for eight minutes because um, it lets the moisture and the flavour really get into the noodles, brings the noodles down properly, um, and you can put a lot of sauce in there to reduce it, intensifies the flavour through the noodles, number one. Um, number two, it, you get a good reduction on your sauce, more flavour in your sauce. And we're actually going to separate our sauce from our noodles. Oh, I've got 
and then you can, and they're still good to just have that way, aren't they? You can just yeah, have your two yeah. noodle, noodles straight off that way. But this is a lot more fun if you're going to turn it into a meal. We're going to feed three people tonight. Are you going to do the whole fry thing as well? You're not going to do it in the cakes that you've done. No, in but the I'll talk about. There's what some other things. I have a good play with the two minute noodles. So there's some other things that we'll do. That's amazing. So the chances of getting a recipe tonight, maybe not, guys, because there's really no recipe. Like no, we say a lot of times, this is no going to be a bit of a watch and see. Yeah, and what I do, once do you separate the one. noodles, and I'll show them to you a little bit later, once you separate the noodles from the sauce, they'll actually um, dry up pretty quick. So we're going to put them in a colander or a sieve. Don't leave them in the colander or a sieve because they will stick to it. They become sticky little buggers. And you can actually make little um, cakes out of them if you want to. So you can put them into an egg ring or whatever shape you like. Um, I've done them for Jodie Ann for breakfast with a bit of egg in there. So we'll make like a bit of an egg cake and it's then pour so the fun. sauce over afterwards. So it's fun. Really good fun. Um, when you drain them off, you let them dry off a bit. You can even put them on towel and stuff like that. But I'm just going to put them into a, a little container. We'll separate it from the sauce and we'll just get a fry happening. These are quite... Which Jodie Ann is going to have to hurry up and do soon. Yeah, yeah. 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> So get some heat. You're going to get some heat on yet? No. Should be right. Oil. Do you want garlic? No, we'll skip garlic. Roger. I just think garlic's a really quick go-to thing, and um, it can be nice, but it's last. nice to change it up a bit and not have garlic in the food all the time. Hmm. True. Sure. Seasoning yeah, well, that's a big thing. They've given you a heap of seasoning. Why muck around with it? It's got plenty of depth and flavour in there. All right. Well, I'll give it to do that. And then it will be time to enter stage left. Now, you will also find that different brands, because I've found this, it sounds like I'm a two minute oh, noodle king. I live in a dormitory or something. Um, a lot of two minute noodles. Uh, these are the Coles brands, which I, I do like, but they soak up water a lot more than the Maggi ones. Yeah, right. So that, that will happen. So these are dried up a little bit too much for my liking. It's I'm just going to add some more water and give them keep them going. Cool. Because it'll okay. still be a sauce. Olive oil and... So what are you going to put on for another couple of minutes? Yep. So okay. I did five and I checked them. Okay. Oh, so we've still got three up our sleeve. Two. So I did one minute. Oh. So I did one minute, checked them, got them down into the water. Oh, After yeah. five minutes, I've reduced too much. Okay. So I just add a little bit of water because we want that sauce and flavour out of it. Hello, Kaza. Kaza's saying, where's my sidekick? Do I have it on? Over there. Oh, there. Can't see. He's here. He's here, Kaz. But he's here too. Another two minutes. Um. Alright, so, ta-da, we've got, drum roll, Brrr. we've got a very special guest, just about to walk in, when she So hang on, can... oh actually, oh, we we're going to say yeah, where we meet you? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, a lot of people ask, you know, do you keep a lot of friends off the show, our time on MKR? When you're on MKR, you are spending six months, possibly six months of your life, Feels like 24 hours a day with other contestants, um, with a crew of people who give up their lives as well. So as much as we might whinge about being 15 hour long days or something like that, these guys are running around probably harder and Jodie and I always appreciate that. So did we keep friends off the show? Well yeah we did. We fell in love with one particular person who was the in the food team and always made sure we had good produce and some clever stuff in the fridge. I don't think everyone appreciated it. So there was some clever stuff in the fridge that Maybe. gave you a, a bit of a backup. Everything we cooked, they all cooked before us to make sure it could work and could be done. Um, so the brains behind a lot of that is this lovely lady here. Yay! 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 Well, she's got a broken wing at the moment. So this, guys, is actually the head of the food team from My Kitchen Rules. So this royalty in our kitchen oh, yay amazing to be here and i'm loving watching all of this oh yeah, yeah. i'm learning something as well oh there you really? go oh, I'm I'm hard to believe. Believe. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this lady i remember one um one ingredient we had to get was uh was a pepper berry yep 
Yes, it was. We had to get Pepperberry and these Should guys crony. busted their butt to try and find us Pepperberry. They finally found us a place. I think Pepperberry's worth like Please about $15 dollars for a bag. By the time we caught a taxi there and, and had to get this Pepperberry, but they found Dad. it, they sourced it. And, <laughs> And always have alternative ideas in case we get stuck and things like that. That's so what it is, yep. they are very smart. Very smart. Well, which so is our command. Seriously, <laughs> uh, royalty. You know, yes, okay, we had our instant restaurant here and we had Pete and Manu, but this is the lady that does the hard yards. Yeah. Trust me. Along with an amazing team. Yeah, well, very amazing team. You had some amazing people. No, some but amazing people behind it who. Um, so you guys always so cook the food blessed. to make sure that it can be done. Or there's a lot of recipe discussions that go on not everything is tested it, uh, that can be done a lot later as well but obviously recipes from you guys that are submitted are definitely talked about gone through ensure they're feasible also time you know within time that you can actually achieve these things well within the time that you set yeah um, so you know um, I know there's a lot of drama often around these shows but the reality is that we from a food team perspective we'd never ever want to set you guys up in a position that would where you'd not be able to achieve something. You've yeah, got a 90 minute challenge and it's going to take two and a half hours. And it was easy to try and find someone to blame. I imagine you guys are copying a few times. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so we've done the many, many buses, I can yeah. assure you. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the reality is at the end of the day, and I know I need to say to you guys and, and the rest of the crew, was that you know at the end of the day, we want amazing food yeah, and we want sure. you to do amazing food. So That's right. We always have the same goal. So I remember that probably, very, very yeah. clearly the day that you said that. That's you know, an important thing and also the pleasure to see and watch and especially you guys growing as you did so much over the life of the show and, and obviously now further, so much more now. So yeah. it's exciting. It is yeah. exciting! And I love like that we've kept friendship. And, Same. Oh, so and we. Like, I think Jodie and I were talking last night and just said that, yeah, sure, we met on the show or whatever, but now... You know, we're friends. Past that. And it's past way that. more we're than a TV Yeah, that's show. just where we met. I mean, this lady folded my undies today because I cannot. Yep. <laughs> Did too. That's <laughs> friendship. Sure. Yep. Well, that's what friends do. You don't fold my undies. <laughs> yes, I do when I take them off the line. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Point was, it was very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> There's only special people who could, would want to fold my undies. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. That is so funny. What are we doing next, Nick? Yep. So Here basically we what we're going to do is um we will get Excellent. another check okay. see these noodles they've soaked up all that water again wow well, maybe we have a change of course so yeah. yes so we're used to doing that i'm still going to go for running them through a suit just to see if anything will come out of them for a bit so i've just got a prep bowl there did you want these um mushrooms or we're going to leave them uh, yeah, I reckon we'll leave them. Yeah, I reckon I, too. I don't think, I don't think it's going to really go with flavour. Same, same. Um, Do you want me to get, because I know that I've got other flavour sachets, because you don't always use the flavour sachets. You're getting a bit there. Maybe oh, it's about, yeah. like, it used to be on the show, where you have to think on your feet and change directions. Oh, we've flavor. done that a couple of times. <laughs> Living on the edge. On, yeah, we've done it a couple so of times So rather than live. fry it off, I'm actually, we've got a little bit of sauce in there. Yep. But I'm going to put it back in here. And just run the hot water through. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just run oh, yes. a little bit of warm water in there. Can't see you there. <clears throat> yeah. So all I've done is just um. I'll have a slide up. Sorry. Yeah. Eyes <laughs> to the front. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of the sauce there. It's not as much as what I'd like. So I've just thrown the noodles back in there. I'm just going to add some hot water. Just to speed up the process. Yeah. Nothing left in there. You didn't boil much in you know. that. Bugger. Took that front on the bus. Oh, nolly. <laughs> do you want me to do that and you can start frying or do you want to just start, frying, start, start frying? frying? The whole lot all at once? Um, go for your capsicum. Capsicum? Yeah, yeah, just go to the lot. Yeah. yeah, they're all about the same. Don't forget we want a little bit of spring onion left. Yeah, well, that's a good tip about chopping your vegetables all the same size so they cook. Ah, yes, as Annalise is pointing out, if you've got all your veggies cut at the same size, they're all going to cook at the same time. Rather than having big pieces of capsicum, little pieces of um, snow pea. Um, yeah, that's a very, very good tip, actually. It's the same goes for. Here we go. Anything you do, your veggies in the oven and things like that. that. If you're yeah. boiling something. It's going to look really good because of the colour. The colours are amazing. We didn't know whether to do peas and corn or because sometimes we took, we could just do frozen peas and corn. 
Uh, but we had some of this fresh stuff. As you guys know, Mum always gives me, um, posts me stuff as well. Um, and we've just been down to see Mum, which was nice. Um, yeah, she's a crazy good wild, wild girl. I don't know if she's joined in yet. Are you there, Mama? Anyone seen Mum? Searching Mum. Thank Jillian you for my surprise, Mum. Hello, Gillian. Well, I love your hair. I'm loving tonight's hairstyle on your girl. Plus, it's a great way to put it up, to keep it out of the way. You are so right. Oh, Jade's got to run. It'll be dinner time. Be back soon. Yep, we'll still be on, most likely. Henry, how are you? Bella, I already said, how are you? Erica, hello. Um, Muzz's changed channel. All right. Well, this is all good at this stage. Toss thing, which I still don't do. Not confident in tossing. Look at you, huh? It's going to be a tosser. <laughs> the man who's come from there to here. Yeah, <laughs> didn't know anything. Oh. Tell people I learn how to cook in front of everyone. Super proud of you. That is his story. I like to cook in front of Australia. Everyone, yeah. Well. There's a few people in Russia that have seen it too. Oh, <laughs> true too. Very true. Oh, no. I haven't seen the guys from um, Niagara Falls for a couple of nights. I did see that. Susie was watching the other day, but she's they've not actually joined us live. Now something that I'll sneak into a lot of these reductions that I'll do. Oh, he does too. And Joanne will go, what's favorite you that? thing? Is I reckon you let this one off the name. Reckon I've got French written all over it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, looking Good forward knob to of seeing butter. cook a huge ribeye. We'll nearly yeah, make we will. all sauces taste better. We we certainly will. I was talking. I was thinking about doing the steak on Monday night, John, but then Mick wasn't home, and I thought unfair. He'd be spewing. Um, Carla saying hello, you two beautiful people. You are so. And Who's that? How was it? Kayla. Oh, how you oh going, Kayla. Susie's here. I just said no, Susie. Hello, Tiama. How are you guys? Where's Al? Is he up? If he's not, go poke him. Is it six thirty? Uh, know that voice in the background. Um, there's Al. Join on Facebook. So Susie and Al are here. These guys are from Niagara Falls. Unreal. Yeah, I know. We love it. It's just incredible. We've got a few fans from different countries and they drop in when they can, which is amazing. Right, so, so we're just going to dump that. Eight minute, two minute noodles, guys, just so that you're back up and aware of it. Um, you better have to do another quick appearance through as well. Annalisa, so ladies, welcome. <laughs> this is the um, head of the food team from uh, My Kitchen Rules, which is how we've become friends, and we're lucky enough to have her in our house because um, we're just, we're friends now. Yeah. So it's been absolutely fantastic, and it's so funny because she's shouting directions from the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> Look at the camera. Tell people what you're doing. <laughs> so I just want to let these minute, these noodles sit for a little bit to lose as much moisture as possible. But I just find that if you leave them in the sieve a little bit too long, they'll get quite sticky. Mm. Um, so I'm going to put them back into this bowl. Prudence is Some of them back into the them. bowl. <laughs> Some of them went on the side here. Nothing like live, eh? Exactly. But what have you got left here with? A really so good got, looking broth. We've got yes. a broth left there. I'll show that. I'm going to scoop those back in and I'll show the broth. Prudence is obviously still up. So wave at Prue. Prue's going to be Australia's next... Um, Nigella Lawson. Amazing. She's seven, I think. She's amazing. Great. Well, maybe she should team up with Ariella. Little instant chef she is. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So I wonder if she should um, try out for um, MasterChef Junior. Yeah, Have you seen that, guys, yeah, up there? Well, the application. It's lost. on. They're doing applications now. Move. That could be good. Is, yeah, we have lost that. Oh, here we go. I can show you a picture of her. There she is. That's prudence. Oh, beautiful. And to flip over as well. Oh, wow. Stunner. Yeah, she's beautiful. Too hot? No, no, no. I'm just um, doing this cook on my own. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right, Nick. I've got you. I'm here. So, yes, I have got my, someone's got my back. <laughs> yeah. So, these noodles, we're just going to get those in there. And get those. Fry it off. I would have liked to have let them... Um, dry off a little bit more because we're going to be getting a lot of that moisture out of there now. Smells amazing. Did we not with some chili in there first? Yeah. 
Did you want some? Because we decided that the... Uh, yeah, really chilly then. No, I'll see you guys. Well, why don't you have a taste of it? Broth. Yeah, you'll get the noodles will start sticking to the pan a little bit, but that's Careful. kind of adding to the flavour. I reckon that could be reduced more in the microwave if you want to, how's it tasted? I'm still in the fire pan because I want to reduce it quickly. Well, I'm going to use some of it to deglaze as well. Um, oh, no. If you want to reduce it. So we're just going to throw some spring onions in there oh, yeah. now. Yeah, you throw anything in there, any of your flavours, even, like I've done it as Jody had said before, just with peas and corn and carrots and yep. stuff like that. Um, the frying just gives the noodles a bit more of a, you know, a bit of depth and Correct. makes them taste a bit nicer than just boiled. Gets the flavour in, another depth of flavour in there, it's good. Well, when the football comes back, it'll be a great Friday night meal to quickly whip up and yeah. beers and watch the... Well, it really right. turns it into a meal looking thing That's it. instead of two minute noodles. Correct. And we're not far off, gang. Footy coming back. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Amazing. So, when you've got a bit of your sauce aside, if your pan gets sticky or anything like that, um, instead of panicking, a little bit of water or a little bit of your sauce will deglaze the pan. Not only will it deglaze the pan for you, it'll lift some flavour up there for you too. So it's not a, an overly bad thing, but we do want to get this fried off a bit. Could have done with that bigger pan, but I wanted everyone to be able to see the colour in there. Right. I thought that I got the bigger one out. Yeah, you did, but you can't you see can. into it. <laughs> I thought of an invention while I was batching without you. What did you think of? I might solve the world's He's problem. He's good with inventions, I'm telling you. And they It'd be come good for a meal like this, actually. What was it? Oh, you can't so, tell? So, you know our little... Are you allowed to tell? Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to really run away with my invention. Oh, you never you know. know. Little pot? Where's that little pot? On the stove. The one, that oh, one. Oh, yeah. I'm reducing so, it for you. Jodie is just reducing a little pot like that. Yeah. With a removable handle, then you just eat straight out of it. You cook up a meal like that, and it just becomes a bowl, and you can have a you set of it. Put it into saves on washing and cleaning up. Literally a one pot wonder. Yeah, yeah. one pot wonder. Literally. Absolutely. <laughs> and I even he checked it. I cooked it. Up, I probably yeah. cooked up today. I made some eggs. You can tell he's been eggs. living in a farmhouse. Eh? I made up some eggs in it, and within two minutes, it was touchable. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it just did aluminium. You just need a little crochet stop to pop it on. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that, or you could um, have like a little water bowl that sits in that just cools it and the food as well once you finish cooking. We made noodles last a hard sear on some old beef hot dogs, some rice and pea noodles, tan tan style. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Delicious. Nice. Oh, ah, right. There you you turn it into stir fry, you could go the whole hog. Um, Emma Starr, hello. Stephen. What else? Hello, Groggery. Good to see you this week, mate. Hey everybody. Hope you're feeling sort of chipper. Oh, I can smell that chilli. Come on, let's get to that. All right, um, you've got that in there. We're going to do and some spring onions last minute. Dirty and then and then slice them green. Spring onions. Oh yes, I am going to do that. And then that. as much as the packet's got a little bit of the shallots, um, fried or dried shallots, we're going to put a little bit more in there. I even saw in the cupboard and thought about it um, is, and because I love them, mm. is um, just doing some pine nuts. Yeah, but then you're messing with bloody things, aren't you? You're crossing lines. With what, pine nuts and pine nuts? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what you could actually do as well, is quite right, is to just before all this happens, like when that's in the microwave, put the pine nuts in. I was going to say maybe crack an egg, and just like oh yeah, yeah, scramble it, let it sit, take it off, put it on a plate, roll it up, slice it, and then toss that through. Yes, very, very yep. true too. 
Yeah, like you would in a fried rice. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Straight from the horse's mouth, peeps. Nay. <laughs> and you know, you could go with your Chinese sausage, you could throw some bacon in there if you wanted to, cut up, you could have different types of meat. I don't. I actually don't know what's in the um, packets in these things. You might, this is not far off vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what's in the mixed packets, mm. but it would be far off a veggie meal too for those ones out there. That, you can uh, definitely buy the veggie ones. Yeah. Great. Right. So that could be pretty much classed as ready. Um, Jody has done a little reduction, but I'm going to use a bit of this. I'm going to let it sit hard for a bit and I'll do a little deglaze and then it'll go through. Did you want me to keep reducing your sauce over here? No, that's fine, just do a little pour over. That's great. Yeah, it's thickened nicely. It does too. A bit of body to that. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think there's something that they put in the sauce in the packets that would help thicken it up for sure, so that definitely helps with it. So hear that little sizzle there, that's just picking up all the flavours that are on the bottom of your pan. Uh, last little bit of that guys. Being champagne food on a beer budget. So the last few shallots. Start the the spring onions. That's going to be garnish on top. Uh, a little bit, I'll put a little bit now, so I reckon just having it two ways. And a little bit for your garbage, no worries. See, nice fried bit on the bottom. Yeah. So we're all flipped it over here, guys. So we've got that little bit of fried going on the bottom. They're the good bits, those nice little crunchy bits. Delicious. That's not so good. Done it. For sure. Looks fantastic, Alison. Tantan, a dry longer. sauce, not broth noodle, like you're making. But it was lazy, no stir fry. Uh, yum yum, Susie's saying. Yum yum, pig's bum. There's no pig <laughs> yeah, bum. Yeah, they say it, that. They say that in Canada, that. Do, like we do here. Um, Sam Johnson. Betty, how are you, Betty? Fred and Betty Betty. Come and see. You're going to have it in a bowl, are you? Well, I just thought if you'd do the whole lot in that. Yeah, the, your special plating. And then. That you're famous for. <laughs> yep, yeah, chuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> Every week we say, we need Lynn. Where's Lynn? Yeah, Lenny was good at plating. She, we worked with her the once and she was great at plating. Not my forte. You don't want to put it like in a bowl and, you know? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. I don't. Just chuck it on. Yeah. So I'm just purposely I'm leaving that sit there for a bit to get that nice fried bowl. Bowl. Yes. There's more of that fried yeah. stuff on the bottom. It's what we're looking for. Yeah, great. A bit of crust and seasoning. Yeah. Jodie trying to find a good plating plate. You know, like your mum had yesterday for the salad this morning, I mean. Oh, that might not. That might not. So it's been 38 minutes, but Jody Ann did an intro for how long? Ages. <laughs> we had the uh, introduction and everything. I'm just going to show you again. I've just done another flip. Got those nice fried crispy bits. Great. So good. And then all we're going to do. Do yep. many things. Can we try this? No. No, that's not going to work. It's not stick, so you'll be able to slide it if you want to. Gorge. Oh, that, that actually does look. Uh, yep, yeah, no. Terrific. 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 Little, uh, Turn that off. Go on top. A little bit of. Look, we've got a food yeah, face in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love that? I do. I love that. 
So when you hear Don't us talking, when you hear about us talking about food porn, um, these are the people that love to see the good looking. Oh, oh Wayne, he's from the US too. Um, Wayne Cody saying looks good, but where's Dazza? Because we had a special guest on, on. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. We sacked him. Yeah. He was a bit cardboard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny drizzle. though, wasn't it, Wayne? It was hilarious. Had the best time. Prue wants yeah. to make yeah. them she loves. So there's our oh, one. Christy's just joined us. Our reduction that we've just put on there as well. Sorry, I didn't realise Jodie Ann was standing. I've used it Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to put more? Because it's not sort of oozing out. I'd be putting stacks on. No? Yes, Manu. Sauce, where's the sauce? Where's sauce! The sauce? <laughs> did he put quite a bit on there? Yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, um, amazing. And trust me, that does intensify the flavour. The butter's good in there. And that doesn't look like two minute noodles. That's boring. Yes. It took, probably took 15 minutes. But when we say eight minute, um, two minute noodles, is because we cooks it in the microwave for eight minutes. Like I said, eight minute risotto, it takes eight minutes once it comes up to pressure. The preparation, everything probably takes about 20, 25. So, um, and two minute noodles don't take two minutes. So, <laughs> And I'll hook you in when I say eight minutes. So there we go and guys of course the thing we've got to do is taste it absolutely you can do that christy's here oh no i can do that christy broadbent don't waste the shorts she can get on half dave joined <laughs> michelle sorry we didn't catch up today that's all right lovely there'll be plenty of time My fault. gorgeous noodles mick so a little bit more spring onion won't hurt because it's going to mix through it Love to and I don't, I don't mind wasting food. Um, a little bit of just fresh crunch. Oh, Tiama. She's saying, I know who's there, I recognise that voice, and I've just jerried. Tiama's from the piggy. Oh, yeah. T. Ah! Oh. She's saying, Can you say hello to Elisa? Oh. Come and say hello. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> She's busted herself. You? Yeah, I broke myself. Yeah. <laughs> There you Lots go. of love to you. I didn't, Jerry. I didn't, Jerry. So sorry. <laughs> love um, it. Yeah. I've had yeah. She'll probably ring soon. I reckon that was pretty damn good if I don't say so myself. It smells amazing. I'm pleased. Well done. The little so tell us how the master chef went and went. Oh yeah. First taste. You can be the taste tester. Mm -hmm. The man who made oh, the. And 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 um, we expect a critique and a and a, a score. Do you want to do a live critique? <laughs> yeah. Can you can you do your best accent? Best you do the fucking column. Inch comes. You can swear on this channel, baby. They left out a new link, new thing. Just oh, saying. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could have done more fried. Oh well. But the flavour's there. Time. It smells amazing. It does. Absolutely. Tracy reckons it looks good too. Alright. So I'm gonna say this. Yes. Cooked for eight minutes, I did wonder how the noodles will keep their integrity. They're firm, strong, delicious, cooked perfectly. I'm surprised. So. There you go. There you go. You win. So you said you had you were gonna learn something and you have. I actually did. Because I would never do a break. Because some parts and stuff you just, go overcook them, yeah. they just turn into mush. mush. Mm. But I reckon they hold their flavour better and they're better Absolutely. than that. Absolutely. Normal two minute so noodles got that. Quite a bit of time here, quite a bit of time here. Genius. Delicious main mm. meal off what do two minute noodles cost like 75 cents a packet or and something? A quick rummage through the bottom of your fridge, empty your go with it. the colours, yeah. Delicious. Don't need to be a genius to get flavour because they give it to you, so good. they give you free flavour in there. Well, you win a little yeah. bit more fried, a little bit more fried. I reckon, wouldn't uh, yeah, nice. you? Yeah, that, that yeah. chewy bit, in the there. Nice yeah. bit on the bottom, yeah. But Jesus. give it a go, guys. Trust me, and have oh god, there's so many options. Yeah. Yeah. Have goes on, on, egg on, on there. Yep. Break that through. Delicious. Yep. 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 I was saying about because yeah, I've got some um, chorizo sausage that I've got in the freezer, so I was saying to Mickey could cut some, dice some up of that. It was like, this is a veggie meal too, pretty much what we've got here as well. Yeah. We every time we do a vegetarian dish, we don't even realise we're doing it, do we? Yeah. And you know what, mushrooms definitely work with the flavours here. I know we chose not to use them yep. today, but yeah. You know, they're good, full of protein and a really, you know, mm. something else to bulk it up well, with. I think you could have gone exactly. with the aubergine sitting right there. The Correct. Eggplant. I'll set that, that later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a try then. Unreal. 
Good job. Oh, good flavour. Are you happy, Mick? I'd, I'd like to have um, fried them off longer. So have you got that? Just to away? get that more chewiness in yeah, there. Little I just think the yeah. ratio is a little bit still two minute noodley rather than that. Nice. I'd still like a 50 50, you know? Bit It'd of... be nice to just leave it maybe just to sit on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then crust. give it one good flavour. Yeah. Well, it's like a good payola, right? Yeah, yes. exactly. Have a crusty bottom? Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't just love a crusty bottom? Don't we love a crusty bottom? Little payola top thing we haven't used yet. Now, what we're forgetting is we've got another um, cold satchel winner. Oh, that we have to. I answer. haven't been around. I haven't been on social media to have a look. So this hasn't been run by me. No, um, but I've got a feeling that you may have seen the um, the result because I definitely told you about it. So you've been doing a drum roll like we did last week. Oh, really? I'm just not musical. See, it didn't work. Smiley! Smiley won it! Yay! So, Smiley, I'll get your address at some stage and get that in the post to you, which probably won't be till next week. What did Smiley do? Smiley did our quiche. Away. Oh, you did our quiche? And it looked, again, way better than ours. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was um, no, it looked good. We give you the baseline, you're meant to make it look better. Yeah. Um, but she didn't have a pie maker either, so she did it in look, the. Look, uh, the pie maker's a great matter. idea. But I think there's something about doing it in the oven too. We, yeah, and we can't expect you to have the equipment that we have. It was literally because Aldi were having those thirty-five dollar pie makers that we decided to do ours in our Aldi pie maker. Because that's what so, we do. And it's faster for us to do it in a thirty-minute cook for you guys than doing it in the oven. So that was all that was about. So that's awesome. Two winners so far, and nice. another one next week. Now everyone should be able to knock up some two-minute noodles, to eight-minute, two-minute noodles, <coughs> with all the fun. Um, so we expect lots of pictures for next week, and um, yeah, we'll have uh, another Coles gift voucher to give away next Thursday. So I reckon that's about us. Is it? How are you feeling about that? That went quick for me, because I think I did everything. You did? <laughs> Apart from cut everything. Well, you know. <laughs> and I've been speaking to everyone. And I was thrown under the bus at the last minute. Yeah. We're going to be home in 15 minutes, and you're going to do your two minute, eight minute noodles. Yep. You nailed it. Yeah. Yes. See? So there we go. And uh, under I pressure. Absolute faith. That's what he was worried about, and Elisa <laughs> being here. It brings back old. Um, <laughs> yeah. What is it called? Post traumatic stress. <laughs> yeah, PTSD. <laughs> oh, no. For sure. Nice. You were always nice to me. It's just I was felt like I was under pressure the whole time. Under, exactly. Under the Everyone says that it looks board. amazing, so that's yeah, good. Rosa, that's why I thought you'd also turn. That Rosa thought they'd turn to mush as well. We're going to try this one for no, sure. No, they hold their integrity really good. Like, yeah, still. So going to this... Like we broke these up on purpose, just so you haven't got those big, long, two-minute noodles. Yep. But their integrity is still good. See you, John. John's saying see you next week. Um, so going to make this with Prue's words, <laughs> which I love because she's, well, she's quite tall. Well, thanks. It was delicious to win-win. Oh, awesome. Smiley saying thank you. Uh, Alison Coops has just dropped in, so that's a bit of a spew. But I did see you. Hey, Al. Yes, uh, Wednesday. Yes, yeah, yesterday. Um, all right, well, we're going to sign out, gang. And um, she even played it on a smiley face plate. God love you. See you, Murph. Good to see you. Um, thanks, everyone. Um, obviously, it's been another fun cook. Uh, it's been awesome having special guests Monday and Thursday. And nice to have you home as well, Bubba. And guess what? I've got awesome. a drink tonight. Because you're not working tomorrow. Not working tomorrow. Yay. So that's good. We'll do that. Two reasons to love rain. One, it makes things grow. Two, it gives me a day off. Yeah, and then you put the food that it grew. That's, yeah, exactly. So he was doing beer for the last four days and then um, Vitabrits the week before. No, Vitabrits. Yeah. Week. Week All the thank you letters, are, I'm expecting them in the mail. <laughs> yep, Mick and Jodie and Barlow. I'm making your beer and wheat mix. Care of the Trumbury Roadhouse. You know where to send everything. So, cheers, guys. Thank you so much. We love your support every week. Um, twice a week and everything else and all the positive feedback and in the coming weeks we'll have some more exciting news for you guys but till then uh, never, never more, more. Never, less. never less always, always the, same. the same have a good one all right, all right guys Mwah. take care never more never less boys always, always the same, the same. Oh. Told me, right, this is why it's familiar, because you told me this. Well, you come up with it years and years and years.